hey, Apple, we need to talk. What is the heck is this system data, and why is it eating my MacBook alive? Let's talk about it right after this. Hey everyone, welcome back to I Am Gadget Guy. I am Gadget Guy. You can call me Justin. Just nothing inappropriate. All right. So yes, sometimes I honestly feel like get pulling my hair out. Okay, about this whole entire issue with system data. Okay, so I have a laptop right here. Okay, this is my old MacBook um, Pro that I had for several years, and um, it's a 2019 model. And well, I had to get a new one because the battery was expanding, but my storage was getting eaten alive. I only had uh, 256 in this. So, you know, yeah, granted I was putting everything on NASA and stuff like that, but I went out and I bought myself a brand new stinking laptop um, a year or so ago, okay? It is MacBook Pro M3 Max chip. It's got 36 gig of memory, one terabyte hard drive, okay? And I'm thinking, okay, this is going to be it because I'm not going to fill this terabyte up because I throw everything onto my NASs and things like that. Um, but I have a problem, okay? So I was transferring some files from my phone over to my MacBook, some photos to put up on my blog, one of my blog sites, okay? And on my Mac, I got hit with this dreaded, you're almost out of internal storage. I'm like, what the heck? I'm almost out of internal storage. All right, so I looked at my system storage and it said I was down to 192 gigabits free. And I'm like, what the heck? What do I have on this MacBook that would be causing me to only have 192 gigabits? Because I transfer everything off all my iMovie projects, all my blogs, all my, you know, YouTube videos, they go to my one of my external NASs. I have different NASs for different things, okay? And so I got down to it, I'm looking at the system data, all right? The system data. So does anyone know what the system data is? Because it's it kind of like an irritating thing, okay? So I got looking at it and it said I had 595.53 gigabits in system data. I was like, what the heck? So I started researching this online. And, you know, because usually in the past, the system data would go up and go down, up and down, you know? But it was at 595, and I'm like, what the heck? So I went in and I was looking at um, a couple things, and I was like, okay. So yeah, it could be my caching. So I went in and my caching was like 12 gigabits. Okay, so it's not caching. I cleaned that up, and but it still didn't go down. And then I went in and I was reading some more. I looked at logs, nothing in the logs. You know, maybe two gigabits worth. It wasn't even worth my bother to delete them. And then I was like, okay, what else could it be? You know, so a lot of people were saying they had problems with Spotlight. So I went into Spotlight and I deselected everything right here. And I even added I even added the following to the privacy for Spotlight right here. But that didn't do diddly crap. I even went in and got on the terminal and I removed all the Spotlight um, MBS files, I do believe they're called. I turned off Spotlight. I disabled it like six or seven times, but nothing, but nothing. My, actually, after I did that, it went up to this right here. Yeah, 630.97 gigabits, and it was still rising. I'm like, what the heck? So I called up Apple support. Well, first of all, I, I talked to Apple support on chat. Then I'm like, oh, no, we got to get a phone call. So we did a phone call. And um, they're like, okay, so did you do this, this? I was like, yes, 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 yes. Did you go on a terminal? Yes. All right, so let's take a look at it. So we found out that I had a OneDrive I have OneDrive out there connected to my OneDrive where I have some documents and stuff at. It had 300 gigabits in pictures. So what I did is I, I actually unhooked. 
unlinked OneDrive, deleted all the OneDrive, and then I had two backups, okay? And so I went and forced the backups to go through, and it took a couple hours for each of the backups. And then I, after that was all done, I backed up, I restarted my computer, and what do you know? System data was still high. <laughs> okay, so I'm like pulling my hair out at this time. I'm like, what the heck is going on here? You know, why is the system data so dang high? It was not going down. And I just deleted 400 gigabits. And so, because there was 300 gigabits in my OneDrive pictures and then another 100 gigabit throughout all the other files. And I was like, okay, what is going on here? Why isn't this working? So I went ahead and backed it up a few more times, played around. You know, because the Apple support person told me that the system data will hold on to files that need to be backed up. And since I have two backups going, that they would both have to complete. So I completed them. Completed them, I made sure that trash was emptied out, everything, and I made sure they were completed like two or three times, you know? I was like, okay, you know, let's, let's do this. And the system data would still not go down. And so I was thinking, you know, okay. So I went in and I actually found some other um, files. I had some screen recordings that I completely forgot about. Uh, I found those and they were about 200 gigabit. I deleted those and it went down to here. Okay, so it went down to 402.34 gigabits. Still like, what the heck is taking this all up? What is taking all my room up on the system data? I was getting frustrated because I have a terabit of storage on my MacBook. I paid extra for that, you know, because I knew I would never run out because I put things onto my NASes. But, you know, the system data crap is just getting out of hand. And then the other day, so I, I went in and I was like, okay, so my settings had a notifications on it. So I went and looked at the notification and said, upgrade, um, and they said, update available. So I said, okay, let me update. All right, so I updated to 15. I have a Sequoia operating system and it was 15.6. And so now I'm on 15.6.1. Okay, so I updated to that and I still didn't fix the issue. So I backed up my um, computer a couple more times. I was doing it hourly, and but then I changed it back to daily because they were not backing up. One was backing up several times, the other one wasn't. So I switched over to a day again, and then I ran one, then I ran the other one, then I ran it again, then I ran it again, made sure that the trash was emptied, made sure everything was done, Restarted my computer, and uh, what would you know? And wouldn't you know? I didn't take a screenshot of this or anything like that because I was shocked. It was down to 166 gigabit of system data. But now, a day later, it's back up to 407.29 gigabit. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I thought the Sequoia, updating to the Sequoia um, 15.6.1 would fix the issue, but it didn't. So does Apple have a bug out there that just keeps accumulating this data over and over and over and over again? Because my backups run all the time. I restart my computer all the darn time. So it should be clearing it out, but it's not. So Apple, what can you do to fix this issue? Okay, I don't want my storage to get filled up by system data. Okay, I got a terabit drive, so in the case I need to, I can put stuff on that. And I can use it to fill it up. I mean, when I'm only using applications is 6.61 gigabit. Oh, here, I'll even show you what my storage is like, right here. All right, so I am not using that much. Okay, the Mac OS is only using up 22.52 gigabits. 
this system data issue is out of control. What can you do to fix it? I know I'm not the only one frustrated about this, but yeah, something's gotta be done about the system data and the way it stores stuff. Because I am tired of losing my storage to system data when I paid extra so I have room just in case I need it. Not for system data, but for other stuff. All right, guys, that's just, that's just my venting right now, okay? Total venting. Total venting. So I do apologize for that. So does anyone out here who watches my videos, do you use a MacBook? Or do you use Mac OS at all? And are you having a problem with system data? Are you experiencing issues where system data is taking up most of your room? If you do, leave it in the comments. Let's get going. Let's talk about this. All right, because this is, this is an important thing, okay? Because that shouldn't be hogging up all of our data. Our files should be hogging up all of our data, okay? My funny cat videos should be hogging up the data, not system data. Okay, so yeah, if you guys like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And also, if you can, while you're down there giving it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And that would really mean a lot because, you know, this channel is fairly new on YouTube and it's growing. Okay, and then hit that bell notifications so you get notified at any time I put out videos. I usually try to put out videos of gadgets and tech and stuff like that that I use and that I find helpful. Um, yeah, I love my MacBook, okay? I went to MacBook a few years ago uh, just because of movie editing. I liked iMovie and stuff like that. And I haven't looked back. And so I am passionate about trying to get this system data thing solved, okay? So yeah, I will talk about my desk, uh, my gadgets, the tech, my network and stuff like that here on this channel. I'll even talk about one of my favorite gadgets and I'll, I'll have that come up here before the end of the year, all right? So yes, hit subscribe, hit that bell notification so you'll be notified of any time I post anything here. All right, you can also go over and check out IamGadgetGuy.com, the link's in the description. Um, actually, the link to the blog that I talked about is in, that, in the description. So and you can go read the blog I have as well. So I appreciate you guys. And until the next one, I hope Apple gets this fixed and figured out. But until then, we're just, we're just stuck with our data. Not our data. We're just stuck with our storage being taken up by system data. All right, guys. We will see you in the next one. And remember, your storage should be there for you and your cat videos, not for system data. All right, guys. Bye. <laughs>